Okay. Harness update. Here's what it looks like right now. Let's see. Uh, I have 60 pins, so did everything in 10, so there's 6 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Cooled them up and uh, tagged them. So now I know which pins are what, and everything looks much better. Got some more quick steel on there that I was talking about. All the way up to the seal. Except this, this is the only side that's left. Yeah, I straightened out the middle row of pins. Now I just got to do the uh, bottoms on both sides. And. Alright, here's that glue I was talking about. Ultra Bond, $4. Good. Okay, when you go to strip tips, I'm going to show you what I do to get these tips to look like mine without using any, uh, you know, wire strippers or anything like that. Okay, just take your piece of wire, get yourself a lighter. Just kind of judge where, give it a pull, go again, straight off. And you get this, and you twist. See? Easy. Easy stuff. Just a lighter. It's all you need. Okay. Um, to get them even, I coiled one up with a little bit of tape. It's best if you take a small roll so you can kind of, you know, fit it in. Just put a little strand here and then one up here and then take your bigger roll and go all the way down. But uh, then I uh, would grab them to get them all kind of even length. And I would clip them with some uh, sheet metal cutters. These are pretty nice, good stuff. Cut through anything, no problem. See, can cut metal. I could grab a fork if I wanted to and cut it. Okay. And uh, I just kind of repeated the process all the way up to here. Um, before I taped it, though, I did uh, grab one wire at a time from the base and figure out which one was which and added a uh, some duct tape so I can number them. I'll show you how I did that real quick. Take a strand out, kind of like that. Just tear it. You get this. Tear kind of like uh, this kind of angle. You'll get a little strip there. See? And you would just take a wire, you know, just kind of fold it around on the wire. Just like that, and number it. You know, pretty easy. If you have a lot of wires like me, it's best to keep a little bag around so you can just throw the tips in there as you're burning and pulling them off. Now, all I gotta do is um, wire these up, number for number, you know, my mega squirt to these. I don't even have to deal with these wires, I can just use the diagrams now. And just look off of here, figure out what needs to go with these, and then mark them that way on here. And then all I gotta do, anyways, camera died. See, so yeah, all I'd have to do would be, uh, you know, I can mark them from here on here and be like, okay, um, pin number one goes to this, or this goes to pin number one, and then all the way down until I finish both of them. You know, then I can just go on this list, be like, okay, one goes to this, and this, and this, and then just wire it together that way. Then I'll be pretty much done. Um, another thing I would do before I start wiring it together, though, is make sure that your pins are uh, getting power all the way through to the end of these wires. And uh, I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. 
Um, you can take a voltmeter like I have back there, or just a test light that will tell you if you're getting power or not. That's all you really need to know is if you're getting power. And you'll take uh, one end of a wire and stick it on a battery, positive end, and then put your test light on the pin it's supposed to go to. So pin one, right here, I'd stick the test light on that and then find wire number one and stick it on the battery. And my test light should light up. If it doesn't, that means the connection's bad, there's a short, you need to work on it. So, just something to think about. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, I know a lot of people struggle with ground, ground wires. They suck for a lot of people. It's hard to find a good place to ground off of in your car or whatever you're doing. So what I'm going to do is I got some uh, tips with the little circle heads and all my ground wires I'm going to put a circle head on them. Probably not this size, probably a little bit bigger. But here's just, you know, for show so you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm going to put those on all my ground wires, all of them. And I'm going to stick all my grounds on my battery, on the uh, terminal clamp for the battery, you know, through a bolt or something. That way I have solid ground at all at all times, you know, just kind of like in this picture. Uh, you know, always, the best place is the, you know, the battery. Unless you got another place in mind, but a lot of people struggle, so if you don't, it's just a good option, you know. Get these tips, put them on there, put them on the battery. Real straightforward. Then you don't have to worry about your grounds being bad. You know, you know it's your positives or a short somewhere. So that's just what I would do. But uh, yeah, I just thought you guys should have an update. See what it's doing. I even marked my pin numbers on my quick steel 1 through 20, you know, 21 through 40, 41 through 60 on this side. And then so I don't get confused on my wiring side. I wrote it again, backwards, see, 1 through 20, 21 through 40, 41 through 60, just so I don't, you know, forget that it's backwards on the other side. After uh, I get it all wired up, it's not going to look like this, I'm going to coil it up on both sides, so you're just going to see one big cable here and one here, so it's just going to be two big cables, and then if I feel comfortable, I'll combine those two into one. And just have one big cable running through my firewall to my uh, ECU. So, yeah. Till till I update later, I guess.